Hey guys, it's me, Ole. And this might seem like a regular BlackBerry Passport to you, but in fact, it is running Android. So let's see how I made this happen. Let's get into it. For me, this is a very special video because I love the old BlackBerry 10 devices like the BlackBerry Classic, Q10, Passport, but they are not usable anymore in today's world. The software just isn't supported. You can run some Android apps on them, but it's just too slow and sadly too old because the BlackBerry Passport is 11 years old, but now it does have Android installed. But before I get into the device and how it's running, I want to get into the history and how this actually happened and why it's now possible to install Android on the BlackBerry Passport. So we all know the BlackBerry Passport. It always had BlackBerry 10 on it and it was a special device. There was the white one, there was a black one and later on BlackBerry actually released a special edition the silver edition, but nobody really knew why they did that. But now we know. It seems like BlackBerry actually planned on running Android on the silver edition. So actually releasing a completely different BlackBerry Passport to the black and white one with the difference of it running Android. There was a lot of development in that time running into this device and of course there were prototypes that had been produced with Android 5 on them. And it's a pretty crazy story to me, but it seems like people found Android 5 prototypes of the BlackBerry Passport on landfills in China. And because of that, they managed to get user space blobs as well as exploits to bypass the security boot. But I'm really not a technician on phones and stuff. So if I get anything about that wrong, please, I'm sorry. But the sad thing is that installing Android on the BlackBerry Passport isn't a very simple thing. You cannot just hook it up to a computer and uh, do some technical stuff to install Android. You actually need to change the hardware. And this means replacing the eMMC that the BlackBerry has on its board. And the eMMC that the Blackberries have are of course soldered to the board. So it means it is quite a difficult procedure to change that. So you have to take apart the whole phone, you have to desolder the EMCC, which is quite a difficult task on the BlackBerry Silver Edition because it does use very, very strong glue. And it still is on the black and white edition because things can, of course, go wrong and that will pretty much break your phone. So there is a risk included with transforming your BlackBerry Passport to Android. I actually sent my phone away to Thomas in uh, the Czech Republic and he did this transformation for me and he even installed all of the software and rooted my device, I think, to make get even more features from it. I found out about this procedure from a French YouTuber called Sadako and I will leave his link to the video he did about the BlackBerry Passport running Android in the description box below. And because of him, I found a Discord group where they discuss all things Android on BlackBerry. And to me, it's just crazy that so many enthusiasts in a Discord group and developers are actually working on making this happen on the BlackBerry Passport, which they did. It is actually running Lineage OS and um, there is a ROM build called Hapocrat, which enables all the features that you expect from a BlackBerry Android phone on the BlackBerry Passport, but we'll get into that later on. So the ROM called Hapocrat for this phone is actually updated quite a lot to make bug fixes and stuff. Of course, not everything runs completely perfectly, but it's pretty damn close to running perfectly on this phone. So this Hapocrat ROM actually copies or mimics or is basically the launcher that you had on the BlackBerry Key 2, Key 1 and the DTAC devices built into the BlackBerry Passport. So it does really seem like a BlackBerry Android device. You even have all the apps like the BlackBerry Hub and all of those that you had on Android. And you also have all of the sounds and alarm sounds that you had on BlackBerry included in this phone. So this means you can actually use the features like the widgets that you had on BlackBerry Android, or you have the, the menu tray, the app tray, you have like the shortcuts and even more. So it is really running nicely. And also 
they managed to copy all of the features that you had on the BlackBerry Passports keyboard as well as on the Android keyboards. So you can swipe from right to left to delete words. You can flick up suggestions that the phone has for you. You can even use the keyboard to scroll through the phone, through web pages, through your apps. And this works very, very nicely, very, very smooth and without any problems, which is amazing. I'm actually running a different launcher called Launcher. I think it just looks a little bit better on the BlackBerry Passport. I love the design of it. I love the features, the animations, the swipe gestures, um, and that just makes it feel a little more like BlackBerry 10 to me. I didn't find a BlackBerry 10 launcher yet. So if you have a very nice Android BlackBerry 10 launcher that kind of looks like BlackBerry 10, um, leave it in the comment section below and I might install it on my BlackBerry Passport. So with Android, of course, all the apps you need work like WhatsApp, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. You can run basically everything you need because it is Android 11. And all apps, I think, actually still run on Android 11. So there's no need for it to be a newer Android version. The only thing that I found out that really doesn't work is the camera. It doesn't autofocus and when I take a picture, it really doesn't save it to the camera roll. But I think they're working on it and I'm sure there will be an update very soon. If you use it quite heavily, do a lot of multitasking, um, open a lot of apps, um, it does get very hot in the top right corner and the battery drains quite quickly. But this can be because this phone is pretty much 11 years old and the battery just isn't new anymore. Maybe I'll replace the battery that is in here with a new one and see if it's any better, but we'll see about that. So apps like Google Maps work quite flawlessly. Um, you can, as I said, run the BlackBerry Hub on it, but I actually don't use it because I kind of didn't manage to install my email there. So I just have my Outlook app. Um, you can run Instagram, which is kind of laggy, but I think there is an Instagram Lite version. You can run Spotify, which works flawlessly. Just don't expect it to be as snappy as a today's phone. It does work, but you need a little bit longer for things to load sometimes. But don't get me wrong, for a phone that's 11 years old, it's quite good. Because the BlackBerry Passport actually had decent specs back in the day. It had a Snapdragon 801, it had 3 gigabytes of RAM, so it is not a bad phone. It even had a 1440p display, so this display still looks amazing. And really, you don't need anything better than that, at least for me. But I just received this phone on Friday, so I just had it for two days. I will use it a little bit more. I actually ordered a second SIM card that I want to put into this device, but my carrier just doesn't seem to get my SIM card here. So I'm still waiting for it. But as soon as it's here, I'll use it as my main work phone or maybe, maybe main private phone, I don't know yet, to do phone calls, use it in my everyday life and just get a better feel for it and also show it to you guys. So this has been my kind of first hands-on with Android on the BlackBerry Passport. And for now, I'm very, very surprised on how well this actually works. As I said in the unboxing video that I did of the BlackBerry Passport White Edition that I have here, so this exact phone, which you can see by clicking up here in the corner, I actually have something for you guys. But for now, I need to use this phone myself, test it out and see how everything works. Actually, my silver edition still is in the Czech Republic with Thomas, who is still working on changing the EMMC on the silver edition. But as I said, with the silver editions, it's a little bit harder. So I hope you like this video. Uh, let me know in the comment section below on what I should try on the BlackBerry Passport running Android. Let me know if you're actually interested in transforming your BB10 BlackBerry Passport into an Android BlackBerry Passport. There will be a link to the Discord group in the description box below. But here's something that I need to tell you. Please make sure you read the FAQs, you really do your research in the group before asking a lot of questions. Because when, when I did the Simwa uh, Discord group and you all of course joined there, there were so many questions that had been 
asked before and um, it just was very difficult to see through everything so do your research before you ask questions and if you really want to do it if you're really interested go ahead and ask your questions in the discord group but before I end this video, I really want to thank everyone involved. So Thomas, who actually changed the EMMC and did a wonderful work. Communication was amazing and he really put a lot of effort into it. And um, he was responsible for the pictures that you saw in this video. Also, I want to thank Gore, who actually developed the ROM and of course Sadako, um, who brought my attention to the project and every single one that is involved in this project who does all of this magnificent work so we all can enjoy this wonderful piece of technology again in 2025. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel also to not miss out on what I want to do with the BlackBerry Passport and what there is that I have for you guys with this phone. Also make sure to follow me on my social media channels, Instagram at X, and leave a comment on what you think about the project and this video. So that's been it. See you in my next video. Until then, bye.